as a current homeless person who discusses poverty and indigency for people who are victims of abuse and victims of people's impoverished minds and victims of cybercrime, identity theft, and fraud on mine. I went this morning to Burger King to purchase a breakfast sandwich, and I'm very clear about what I want because I've been doing that breakfast sandwich almost with the regulatory regularity of every day. And I buy the same thing in my intent almost every day. I have received some grace from some people where they've added some cheese or they've given me some egg on top of what I've paid, meaning they've given me a bonus. But the boy behind the counter was vile. He tried to upcharge me a different price from the day before. Now my question is, why would he do this? The day before, I asked him for the same sandwich, a sausage biscuit. Now he often asks me for if I would like cheese or egg, and I usually say, well, that'd be marvelous, but I don't have the money for that, so no. But then I find that the food item has those things on it, so he's chosen as a supervisor for their company to comp it for me. Today, I asked for the same thing, a sausage biscuit, which is an under $2 mark food, which is just about enough for me in the morning to kind of give me a better mood. And what happened was, he tried to sell me a different price than what I had paid two or three days in a row with him this week. I said, no, I don't want cheese because I asked him, did the price go up? And he said, well, no, but with the cheese and egg, I said, I didn't ask for that. And I was kind of miffed because I was quite clear about what I wanted. I would take it over the $2 mark. Not that I didn't have it, but I am on a budget and I'm planning my day of what I'm going to eat in every way. The reality is I saw the surliness in the child in him. And the boy is just about the age of majority, I would presume. But what we know about fast food places is that they often quickly impact a person's life by giving them supervisory roles. And sometimes they're too young to do it. When I went back with God's encouragement around midday, or a little after that, I don't remember exactly the time, because I sort of was falling asleep off and on, waiting in the sunshine. I went in to buy a Whopper, and I asked for just a Whopper with certain things on it. Now, they did succeed in giving me that food, but at the same time, they double-charged me for the cheese that was supposed to be on it, and I told them, no, I don't want any cheese. So the food item ended up being like $7 instead of what I expected. It was just over $6 with tax because they charged me for the cheese. Now, the last time I checked, I thought a Whopper came with cheese, but I could be wrong, and I'm okay with that, and I told him to take it off. He didn't actually do that on the register because my receipt said still cheese was charged to me. But when I asked him what the new total was, he gave me a new total, which was less than the other total, but it was still over $7. And he didn't quite give me the price of the food so I could get out a little bit extra money from my pocket to pay for the difference that I didn't assess based on whatever he was choosing to do. He didn't remove the cheese. He charged me for that. And he costed me in time and space because he didn't tell me until later. But what he did was pull money out of his pocket, like a lot of blacks like to do, and they carry a, a wad of cash. And he wanted to pay the difference, and God said, let him. Because he wasn't willing to tell me the answer to my question. And at any point, I could have changed my order to fit into my budget. But I didn't even have that chance to do it. So I gave him $6.12. He paid or $6.15, I apologize. He paid for me a dollar, which he didn't have to do, which was kind. But I didn't like the play with the ticker tape today. 